Hi, this is Hector, and today we want to talk about brush organization because we've just come to that point where we just got a ton of them. Whether we buy our own or we have the Procreate stuff, which Procreate has super nice brushes, um, you know, it's just kind of getting out of control. It's almost like that album that has a bunch of songs, but it only has like one or two really good songs that you hear all the time. Well, you know, Procreate has a bunch of brushes, but it really has like a handful that, you know, I use all the time. So I want one of these. These are called brush sets. How can I get one of these type of things going on for me? Because I like to have my brushes so that I can just go just to one place. I know we have recent, which is really cool, but yeah, I this is dynamic. It always changes. And, uh, and if you didn't know, you could just tap here one time and you can hit the clear button. So you can have it fresh like that and start all over again. But this is how you do your own brush sets. You scroll down, hit the plus sign, and we're gonna add a brush set. I'm gonna name mine Hello. Tap anywhere, boom, right there. Well, there you go. We have a Hello brush set. Let's go to sketching, because that's one of the first things I do all the time. Uh, 6B pencil. This is almost every day I use this one. Now, one way of doing this is sliding to the left and then hitting duplicate. There we go. And then you can just grab it. There you go. I'm gonna drag it out and you see that it has that green plus sign. So now we're gonna add it somewhere. So we're gonna go into hello, about right there, right there. All right, there it is. Now go back to sketching because every now and then I like to use peppermint. Now the other way of doing it is that you can just tap hold. You get that green plus sign and you can just drop it into hello. Like that. There we go. So we go back to sketching. It is right there. And the other inking. I like using studio. Where are you? Studio pen right there. So we get a tap. Drag it out, see the green plus sign, hello will open up, and then just drop it in. And then airbrushing, medium blend, tap and hold, drag it out, go up to hello, open up, and we can just drop it. And those are kind of it. That's what I use most of the time. And then go back to airbrushing because I like using soft airbrush. I like using soft brush. So tap there and then tap and hold. There's my green icon. Go to hello, I can wait for it to open and then I can drop it. Now, I can also move them around here. So I can just tap and hold and I can just move them up and down if I wanted to, but I don't want to. So it goes back to where it was. If my hello is where I want it, and hello, I can just tap and hold and I can move that anywhere, but I want it where it was, right there. Oops, there we go. Oh, and another neat thing you can do is you can tap on hello and you can do one of those four things, rename, delete, share, or duplicate. Well, that's an easy way of organizing everything. There are some folks that, you know, that draw people that, you can have a brush set for hair, eyes, uh, skin, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, some that draw landscape stuff. Yeah, they could have a brush set just for trees. You can have the same brush in different sets. And that way you don't have to like open stuff up. You could just, I go there and then that's just what I work off of. So isn't this an easy way of just keeping things organized? And just because you have a brush here, doesn't mean you have to delete it from here. All right, well, I hope this works for you. And if you like, please do like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. Gotta go. Bye.